Tamu here from Salsa Babies Waterloo Region. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about baby wearing and baby carriers. We get asked pretty regularly what kind of carriers we recommend for um, our people to use in our classes. The short answer is we don't. We don't recommend any one specific carrier because there are way more carriers on the market than I have experience with um, and tons of different options and everybody's different. So it's hard for me to say what's gonna work for you. All I can tell you is what has worked for me in the past um, and what hasn't worked for me in the past. Um, but ultimately you have to choose what's right for you and definitely what's right for your baby as well. In North America, we are very fortunate that we have tons of different brands and tons of different styles that we can choose from. What we can tell you when you are choosing a carrier for our classes or for use anywhere else um, is what the current recommendations are. So we follow the guideline that babies should be inward facing at all times, but that's not to say that if you come with an outward facing carrier, that's going to be a problem at all. As long as you're following the manufacturer guidelines for your carrier. Um, we will help you to make sure that you're following sort of those universal principles of baby wearing, um, that TICS guideline or that TICS acronym when we do carrier checks in class. So the TICS stands for tight, making sure that the carrier is tight enough to be secure and supportive for baby. Uh, the I stands for in view. We want to make sure that baby is in view at all times so we can make sure that they are okay and safe and breathing and everything in the carrier. Uh, C is close, close enough to kiss, so making sure that they're up nice and high to take any strain off of your low back and off your shoulders. Um, K is to keep their chin off their chest. Again, airway, making sure that they're able to breathe. And S is for secure, so again, making sure that they're nice and safe and secure in the carrier. Um, we can tell you also that with an outward facing carrier, oftentimes people will notice a little bit more strain on their shoulders and on their low back while they're baby wearing because gravity pulls down on the baby a little bit differently. The this, this center of gravity is a little bit different. So having them inward facing can sometimes feel a little bit more secure. But again, you need to do what's best for you, what's best for your baby, following the manufacturer guidelines, keeping in mind the ticks. We're here to support you, to help you to use your carrier to the best of your ability and to make sure that you and baby have fun and be safe in our classes. If you have any questions, let us know, salsababies.com.